This is Quentin. Um, I thought I'd let you know if you ever route up an ARB air compressor that uh, for your switch, if you want to, sorry about the dim lighting, I'm gonna do, you're gonna bear with me. If you want your switch to go on this panel, uh, you do have to take off all of all this and everything. But anyway, once you get down to there, how you can easily get the switch in is one, route all your wires. You see the wiring harness right there, that the new looking wires, the one the light's pretty much right on. Route your wires up above there, and you can be able to stick your hand. Whoops, sorry. Ah, oh, god damn it. Right up in there, and you can get the wires out. Anyway, when I was doing this thing before, you're probably thinking about how am I gonna wire up the switch. You still have those two lines. You got your blue, and you got your your red right there. Okay, well, here's how you can easily do it. Okay, route your red right into the cigarette lighter, which is this right here. And the blue wire on this is what um, I tested as positive, while well, the black being ground. You know, just use one of these. I use actually a voltmeter, but use one of these uh, uh, wire testers. I picked, them up at Har I picked this up at Harbor Freight for like three bucks. Okay, but for your dash, and see what that'll do is when you turn the key on, I can get my key to turn on. Is this very bottom light will light up. And also you need that power wire to, uh, you know, let your compressor actually run. But now the main light right here is supposed to light up when you turn your, da your, dash, your dash lights on. Not headlights or anything, but dash lights. Now I did have them wired both into here since I didn't think I'd be able to do it. But sure enough, with just a little poking, I found out, I found out that the blue wire leads, if you can look, I'll, I'll keep the camera there for you, right into that uh, pinkish looking one. The one that's right onto the right side of the blue wire, that pinkish looking one, that's it. And it was the, um, I'll, it's really hard to describe, especially when I have crappy lighting. Let me try to readjust the light, and I'll point to it. Bear with me, I know I have terrible lighting right now. Let's see, something in there metal. No, but I think that'll do. Okay. The very first term on your rheostat right here is your dash lighting. How I tested this out was I used this little tester and I turned my dash lights on. Or I turned you know, the parking lights and everything else on too. And then what I did was, as you see, that one's the big one's lit up. And what I did was I turned the rheostat down, which dims it, which dims your your lights, and it also dimmed this. So you get this effect. I guess you could hook it up to any wire in there, but I chose the dash elimination since that's what the instruction said. And it's just very straightforward uh, wiring from there. So. Now I just got to put all these panels back together, and this thing's absolutely done, except I just need to put a tank on my ARB. Um, I also routed the uh, excess wires for the lockers up here, just so when I do get switches, it's less of a pain to go fishing for the wires again. Okay, well, if you guys have any questions, uh, just give me a holler, and hopefully if you need another video of this, if you're doing this, you need a better video of this, I'll try to do it in the daytime, so you can actually get a good view. Well, keep it a Jeep.